So school-based immunisations were suspended during the start of the pandemic by Public Health England. We as a team were concerned about the um, young people in Bucks missing out on their immunisations because it's so important. So we decided that we would work with the schools as most of them were open due to key worker and vulnerable children are still attending to be able to offer the vaccinations in their schools which they were absolutely delighted about. We were able to uh, write risk assessments and um, standard operating procedures which are revised for vaccinating during a pandemic. We sent those to Public Health England to be passed by their governance panel which, um, which they were and then we were able to continue vaccinating. The schools were absolutely delighted and, um, and so were the parents who were concerned that their children might miss out on these immunisations. The team were totally amazing, really stepped up and we vaccinated over 7,000 children during that first lockdown period. She normally has her immunisation does it done at school but I thought I had consented but I didn't, I'd obviously forgotten so I emailed the school and they gave me the address and the telephone number to contact to get it done for her. Uh, so I rang the number and it was really easy, they just gave me an appointment um, and I'm here today. So we um, followed all the guidance, the government guidance for um, two metre distancing and the wearing of PPE. We rewrote all of our risk assessments and standard operating procedure. We then, um, because the majority of children were not in school, um, we were very lucky that we had a, an army of redeployed staff um, that were able to come and help us and we probably increased the team by um, another 18 um, helpers who were totally fantastic and all those parents that had completed consent forms and the ones that hadn't responded they rung every parent asked them if they were shielding self-isolating if they had any symptoms of covid um, and if they didn't and it, when it, when it was safe to proceed we asked them if they wanted their child to be vaccinated in school then we will give them um, an appointment time ask them to arrive 10 minutes before the appointment and then when the nurse was ready for them to come down to the vaccination room she would ring um, the parent who would remain in their car in the car park until that time. We asked them to arrive um, 10 minutes before their appointment time and then the nurse would call them when they were ready for them to come down into the vaccination room um, and that was how we were able to manage the number of people that were coming into the school hall. We also had posters up um, directing parents. We had in and outdoors, lots of ventilation. We had tape on the floors um, so that anybody that came in was, um, was standing at two metre, two metre distances. One of the positive things of the pandemic is that people have become much more positive about vaccination. I think sometimes you know we have a very good vaccination policy in this in this country and we can get a little bit complacent because we don't see these diseases anymore but uh, suddenly with uh, with the pandemic outbreak and news in the media about how um, the only way out of this is through a vaccine then parents started to ringing up when they maybe in the past had not filled in a consent form or maybe declined a, a vaccine um, asking if we if it was too late for their child to be vaccinated and of course it wasn't we would see them in school or we book them into catch-up clinics to to make sure that their illness history was up to date.